Hey guys, this is Radar Mario 21 back here with more Let's Play Ocarina of Time, and here we are at the dreaded Water Temple. Ugh, here we freaking go. I personally dislike the Water Temple. Not really, it's difficult or long or easy to get lost in for me, but crap, this controller is a little wonky, but whatever. My big rip with the Water Temple is I always, always, always forget one freaking key. It's uncanny. Hopefully, I'll break the curse, but uh, here's to hoping. Can hope all I want, but we'll see how I do. I don't remember if there's anything worth looking at this way. No. Yeah, why not? Let's go this way first. I, duh, you can't light a bomb underwater, idiot. The hell am I thinking? I don't know. But I uh, just explore. Basically, there are four quadrants of the water temple, north, south, east, west. It'll become a lot clearer once you get the map. Three floors and crap. Uh, no, I'm not Wesley. I'm, uh, I'm his cousin. Yeah, let's just go with that. No, it's me. You know, Rudo, love, hate, sex, pain is complicating me tonight. This love, hate, sex, pain is underestimating life. I am. No, we never agreed to that. Screw you. I got the exact same face. Like, what the hell are you talking about, you psycho bitch? What the hell are you talking about, you damn psycho bitch? Good. Yeah, it's trapped under ice. It sucks. I saved your dad. Yeah, where's the thank you for that, bitch? Oh, that's right. It's not there. See, why'd Sheik have to save you? That's a waste of time. Damn it, Sheik. Uh, yeah, your father's been recovered, chick. Actually, go outside and take a look. Okay? Why do I have to? Uh, no. Again, the whole species thing, it's probably incompatible, and you're a psycho... You're a psycho stalker, so no, I don't want to marry you. Okay, look, I'll destroy the evil monster, but all this marriage crap is off. Deal? Blah, 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 blah. That's the main gimmick is... You change, basically, uh, you play Zelda's Lullaby and you change the water level. That's the major gimmick of the uh, Water Temple. Right now, we're at level 3, the highest water level. It's a lot like Wet Dry World and Mario 64 and crap, I can't use my sword underwater, damn it. But I can use the hook shot. If I can actually select it. There we go. It's been a while since I played this stupid thing, so... It, little disoriented on what I can and can't use underwater but uh, hopefully I just make it through as efficiently as I can I'm wearing a Zora tunic just for the sake of convenience it's not a hundred percent necessary but you might actually need it if you don't you're gonna have a time limit on how long you're underwater it's doable it's just more difficult to do it with the Kohiri tunic and thank god she's gone Here's what I'm talking about. Triforce, which means Zelda's lullaby. But yeah, thank God ruler has gone. We'll never see her again. Or at least until... Spoiler. Or no, I'm not going to say anything. Let's just be content in the fact that Rudo is gone forever. Wahoo! Yeah, cool. Come on, can I make it? Damn it. Tried to fall to the second level because I think that's the key I always forget about, but whatever. But I can, I could use my arrows and shoot through the torch, but, because I finally got it in the, damn it, I finally got it in the last episode, made a whole big to-do about it, Din's fire, here we go. Cool animation, got like this whole sphere of fire, and you light the torch and wahoo, awesomeness. These guys, these claim guys kind of suck, you gotta hook shot them when they're open. Aim for the two columns! I found the bioweapon. It's just like the Boston Star Fox, except they're a lot easier to take out than the Boston Star Fox, thankfully. But yeah, same gimmick of you have to sit there like an idiot waiting for it to open. Come on, I need the game hook shot out so I can attack it when it's open. Thank you! And one more of these a-holes. We get... The first of many small keys. 
just like a, like any other temple, just grab as many keys as humanly possible. You're gonna need them all, and like I said, I always forget one. Hopefully, I don't. Here's the praying. Oh my God, I'm so scared. The door locked behind me, and I want some damn hearts, but no one's gonna give me some damn hearts. But now that the water level's lower to level one, the lowest level, I can go back to that first room I was in. Right over here, because I can actually, you know, use a bomb because I'm not under freaking water. I mean, this isn't uh, Twilight Princess where we have water bombs. Yeah, it's one with water bombs, Twilight Princess. But you're going to be toggling a lot of items in a water temple. Another reason why this thing's kind of a pain in the ass, but you just got to deal with it. It's just dealing with all the inconveniences. Yeah, I'm not playing 3DS. That's not an equipable item. I can't equip it to a C button. I just got to put it on manually. And I need the freaking hook shot, damn it. Nice little effect that Navi's voice is muffled by the water. Gotta give credit where credit's due. But just sitting for this stupid clam, die. And more boot equipping. See how fun this is, having the paws and Switch boots every freaking time. Now, of course, in real life, you know, you're sitting underwater. You may or may not be able to breathe underwater. Let's just throw out the logic of the Zoro's tunic. But just imagine Link untying his boots and retying his boots while under freaking water. Kind of a weird image, but yeah, that's how it kind of works in this game. Tektite, die. These Tektites are more annoying than tough, so just it's definitely in your best interest just to get rid of them as soon as humanly possible, and hooray for hearts! Nice sense of Skultula. Best way to do this is fancy schmancy didn't fire. Should be able to work. Or not. Crap, I forgot to spin attack this damn thing. There we go. But because of Din's fire, I killed the Skulltula, so hooray for that, and hooray for Skulltula token. And hooray for more pausing, because I got to put on the freaking iron boots. Got to put on my steel-toed shoes. And I do have, oh cool, 40 Skulltulas. 10 to go. I'm running a little behind on Skull Slows when I normally do, but I've... Oh, come on, Link, go down the freaking hole. So I was saying, you know, I don't really explore as much as I normally do. I'm just trying to be as efficient as possible in this Let's Play, and... The final prize for 50 gold Skull Slows isn't, like... It's really nice to have, but... It's not worth wandering around for a half freaking hour trying to find enough Skull Slows to get it. it it'll, it'll come naturally. It'll come soon enough. It's all good. Okay, so still don't have the freaking map. I could go through that locked door, but I don't feel like doing it now. Honestly, it's in my best interest just to explore the first floor now. Because, like all Zelda dungeons, just explore as much as you can until you get the dungeon item. And potentially backtrack once you get said item, because you might be able to unlock some new crap. But hooray for more basement crap. And more iron boots. I think here I need the hook shot. Am I right? No, I just gotta take off the stupid boots, damn it. Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah, this room. I th is this what I would think it is? Crap. This Tektite's gonna be a pain in my ass, so I'm just gonna take him out now. Awesome! I'm um, usually not the best at taking out those stupid Tektites, especially when they jump, but... I'm feeling lucky, and riding a water spout, even more coolness. And here's the freaking toilet room. There's a spiral current in here, not unlike a freaking toilet! Hence the name, Toilet Room. Now it's about time for me to put the iron boots on. The uh, best thing to do is try and land on this stupid thing and... Ah, oh, come on, Link. You just missed it. You suck. 
Or I suck more than Link sucks, but whatever. Now I gotta de-equip and re-equip, because that's the name of the game. Now I got it. Go ahead and hang it on this dragon tail thingy, because... There's a diamond in the mouth, you need to shoot it, and hook shot. Can I make it with the hook shot here? Should be able to. Because I can't hook onto a freaking hook shot target. I suck that bad. There we go. And more de equipping, because de equipping is fun. I don't care about those stupid clam thingies. I'm not going to let them. I'm not going to stand there for two minutes fighting when I can just easily escape them and get my small key. It's probably one of those easily missed small keys. If that. Definitely a candidate for one of the small keys you might miss on the Water Temple playthrough. Like I said, there's a, almost every time there's always one. And that's the source of the Water Temple grief. Now, back out of the toilet room, and I think there might be one more room I can check on the first floor. If not, uh, we'll be raising water levels more. Hooray for that, I guess. Hooray for flooding and draining. I mean... We need to call, like, the Mario Brothers plumbing services and have them plumb this place. And screw you, Tech Titan, you just need to die. You're in my way. Ugh, just... I'm using a different controller. The control stick's a little stiff. It's not as fluid as my other N64 controller. But I think it goes straighter, like it doesn't veer off to the left or the right on its own, so it's a little bit of a trade-off. It's hit or miss, I guess. I'll, I might go back to my or my other controller for the next recording session. I'll see. But crap, this is where I need the stupid hook shot. Damn it. Just little things like this trip you up and waste your time. All right, here we go. Damn it. Here we go. Why does it take me three freaking tries to hit a hookshot target? I don't know. But, uh, it's... We should do a counter of how many freaking times I have to equip and de-equip the stupid iron boots. I think I was there. No, I don't think I was. Let's just go check it out, because... Chances are we're going to need it sooner or later. Do we need to hookshot or surface? Well, hookshot platform, so... What the hell? Oh, I don't think I can access this yet. Uh, No, I can't. And we just revealed the identity of the new... Dungeon item. If you know anything about Zelda games, it's like, hmm, I can't beat this puzzle as I'm currently equipped. Whatever am I to do? Question mark. But uh, that's the beauty of Zelda games. They tease you with like, yeah, here's an inac inaccessible path. Gee, how are we ever gonna solve it? It'll be a while, but uh, it'll be worth it. Probably the second best of the adult dungeon items, I have to say. After the bow and arrow, because that's pretty damn sweet. Oh, for God's sake. Can you do it without sucking, Link? Please. I want you to hook on. Thank you. Because here we have a Triforce, so Zelda's lullaby, and time to raise a water level to level two. Thank you for actually playing Zelda's Lullaby right. And very, very, very important, another extremely easily missed small key is down here. See where that block ro rose? It actually revealed the path down here, so... Very, very important. Check this out, because this will give you grief if you forget it. I probably forgot on one of my playthroughs, but... Oh, I can't keep track anymore. Played this game so many damn times. Play it like eight or nine times. 
Honestly, it's too tough to keep track of how where exactly you screw up in the water temple. But I hear enemy music and I see a grate, so let's do it. Let's do it to it. These spiky things, as long as they're normal rocks, you can smack them with your hook shot. It's they're pretty easy to deal with until they get all spiky and crap. But when, like I said, when they're not spiky, they're easily smackable. And this clam just wants to piss me off. Come on, dude, open up. Come on. Time for you. No, damn it. Knock, knock, boy. It's time to die. Yeah, open up. It's the uh, pizza delivery guy. It's time for your hookshot pizza. Right? Oh, come on. When I say hookshot, I mean hookshot, dude. Fire the hookshot. Thank you. And another mysterious pathway opens, so... Again, roll Zelda. If the mysterious pathway opens, we should follow it. And I kind of already spoiled what's in here, but here it is in all its glory. Small key. Yeah, it's awesome, I guess. It's awesome-ish. And now that we're level two, there's another small key I can get that I almost always forget about. I want to get it now before I forget because I can and will forget it. And if I do, it will it will indeed suck. So let's just look at this shot of zoom in on Link's ass because that's always cool, I guess. If you're in video game characters, that is. I don't know who the hell is, but that's a different story for a different day. Oh my, Link, Link never stops being surprised when the door slams shut behind him. It's weird. Oh, screw you, you freaking spike balls of death. More importantly, what we need is to go in the room where we met Rudo, right here. And swim up to the second level because there's crap to be had. Important crap? Most definitely. I remember where the map is, I just stupidly forgot to get it. Whoops. And it's just a map I can get in a little bit later, but this is the room I'm talking about. This is the small key I almost always forget about, because reasons and not selecting the item. It's always fun. But just while you're at level two, make sure you go in here and get your small freaking key before you go absolutely that crap crazy trying to scour the entire temple looking for it. Trust me, I've been there. It sucks. But anyway, more exploring, so how awesome. We have a whole second level to explore, and we have three small keys, which, again, you can never have too many keys in a Zelda dungeon, especially in this game. There's, like, no such thing as, like, damn it, I got too many keys in my key ring. It's starting to poke a hole, starting to poke through my jeans and starting to irritate me. It's like, no, it's, it's like, I need all the keys I can get, especially Link. I don't know where he keeps all his crap, but it doesn't bother him, so it doesn't bother me. Can I do anything here? I don't remember. Uh, I might be able to get the compass here. I th think this is where I get the compass. So hooray for compasses. Without maps, because compasses without maps are always cool. Let's just say it is. We'll say it for the sake of saying it. Come on, give me life. I want life. Thank you. Awesome. Back to full health. If this was linked to the past, it'd have sword beams. But it's not, which, eh, what are you going to do? Very important. You stand here and hook shot it from here. Can't hook shot it. Got to use an arrow. Damn it. But yeah, you have literally three seconds to open this damn chest, so make sure you're right next to it. We have the compass. Wahoo! 
I have a compass and no map, so I have random arrows on the bottom right of my screen. That's just awesome. Gotta love random arrows on the bottom right of your screen. You have no idea what this dungeon looks like, but we know where we are, and we can know where the treasure chests are. We're awesome! Okay, I don't think I can do anything there until later. No, I can't because I need the special dungeon item. Yeah, I need the dungeon item to progress to that room, so let's just back pocket that. Lock door, I'll take care of that in a second. Or scratch that right now because it's time. There's nothing else for me to do, so let's do it. Tektite's gonna fall from the ceiling, so heads up. Come on, dude. Don't be a dick. There he is. Dude, I knew you were coming. You didn't surprise me. I was like, wait for it, wait for it. And there he was. There we go. I knew I could do that with the hook shot. And it's kind of weird how the water spout goes like up to Link's ass. It's like his ass is brilliant, but his legs aren't. It's just strange things you notice when playing Zelda, I guess. But now we have the ability to return to level three, water level three, the full, the highest water level. So yeah, let's flood this place, hurricane style. Why not? sake. Yeah, 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 I suck. Thank you. And I'll just quick run and get the map before I progress, because I can. Just a matter of simply going back down to where I saw Rudo and climbing back up to the third floor where we originally lowered the water level because there's a room there that has the map. And I'm just anal retentive and I demand to have the freaking map because maps. Maps are awesome. Sure, let's just go with that. And concussions aren't awesome. Don't roll, don't roll into a wall. Okay, good, I got the right boots on so I can swim. Yeah, screw you, small key. I found you. I found you. And that's gotta suck. You're like trying to float up, but you can't because you're on, there's a ceiling. That would suck. But spike balls of death. Yeah, there are spike balls of death, not doom. These guys are again easy to deal with. And hey, I can actually hit him with my sword on land, so. We're ready for that. And I've already said what the prize is. We're just, it's just a mere formality. We have, oh, for God's sake, we don't need all the fanfare. It's the freaking map. I know it's the freaking map. Now I finally know what the damn dungeon looks like. We're ready for that. And I'm not going to lower the water level because I need it at level three. Screw it, I'll just go out the way I came. Just sinking all the way down. At least I don't take fall damage. That's always good, I guess. Might as well take the stupid boots off now because I gotta explore the third floor. Yeah, those spikes are so threatening when I'm swimming upwards. Okay, cannot do anything here. Need the item. I think this is where I came in. Uh, no, it's not. This is something for me to do, question mark. Just try and keep track of what rooms you've been into, what rooms you haven't. It's kind of that simple, but... Oh, we go back into this room and get to schlep this block some more. Cool. That's will come in handy later, so very important you do it now. That's the, just the hallmark of the water temple is if you don't do something for, if you don't do something when you're supposed to, it'll come back to bite you in the ass and it'll just waste a lot more time. So yeah, just do this crap now and worry about it later so you don't have to worry about it later.
But I uh, know there's pretty sure like it's not. The, yeah, this is the way to go right here. The door on the west side. This is the door of importance. Keith, I see you. Screw you. Screw you both. You both need to die. No desire to deal with either of you. We have this fun room where we get the hook shot to the moving platforms. Because moving platforms are awesome. And not being on the very edge of the moving platform is awesome, so. Come on, reach. Damn it, am I going too high? Crap. Hey, I can actually reach it. Wahoo. I'll come back in here later and get that Skulltula I saw on the right wall. It's kind of hard to get now, especially when you're dealing with all these stupid platforms. It'll be easier later, so I'll just do it later. And by later, I mean the next episode. Because I plan on doing half the temple now and then the other half the next one. Hell yeah, I made it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And last small key, but I think that's all I need. Oh, crap. This room's a pain in my ass. This room will take you a while. A lot of shooting switches, a lot of hook shotting. But uh, just shoot, hook shot, rinse, and repeat. And probably best just ignore the stupid tech tights. Ignore them as best you can, because honestly, that's just the best strategy. And I don't think I missed any small keys so far, so so far so good. Yeah, I need that stupid thing up. Again, just shoot it up, shoot it down, shoot it up, shoot it down. It's more tedious than difficult. It's like, hey, let's make a puzzle that takes five minutes to do. Just because you have to raise and lower crap. Yeah, that sounds like a fun gimmick. That's not going to piss anybody off at all. And I got crushed by the snake dog thingy, whatever the hell this thing is. Well, it kind of looks like a dog thingy, I guess. Let's just go with that. But yeah, one last raise of the water level, and I know we got a freaking, we got tech tights. They suck. This tech tight's kicking my ass. And we got a like like who's just here to try and be a pervert and take our clothes off because that's what it does. It's like, you're so hot, I want to take your clothes off. And you're like, ew, no. But uh, here we go. Through the store of doom we go. And we have nothing. The Hyperbolic Time Chamber. We'll attack this next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Till then, this is Radar Mario 21. See ya.